We are Unitarian Universalists with minds that think, hearts that love, and hands that are ready to serve. Together, we care for our earth and work for friendship and peace in our world. Hi everyone. We're back to follow Little Bear a little bit more today. The book that we're reading that this whole um, fall religious education program comes from is this little book called Little Bear. And it was called Little Bear and the Seven Principles written by church member Sue Yamani Carpenter uh, back in 1994 maybe? I can't remember, 1994. And we are altering it just a little bit for our story uh, and sharing. And also we're adding our eighth principle which has been added in the past couple of years. Also, if you're curious about where our chalice readings come from, it's this little book right here, uh, Sunday and Every Day, My Little Book of Unitarian Universalism. So let's get started. Uh, little Bear, last time we saw you, Little Bear, you were bored and you were gonna go out and find some principles. So let's go out and see what happens next. By and by, Little Bear came upon a cat who was sleeping on the top of a big gravel pile. Hello, cat. Cat twitched near. I want to grow up today. Can you tell me where I might find a principal? I need eight of them. What is a principal, yawned Cat. Little Bear said, it's big. It can have color. It's a value that will help me live a good life. Well, if you put it that way, I guess I can help you. To live a good life, you must treat everyone and everything as if they were important. I'm important. Now let me sleep. Little Bear began to cry. I can't remember that. So Cat wrote it down on a colored paper and gave it to Little Bear, who stuffed it into the big book bag. By and by, Little Bear came upon a dog who was walking down the road beside his master. Oh, hello, dog. I want to grow up today. Can you tell me where I might find a principal? I have one already, but I need eight. What's a principle? asked Dog. It's big. It can have color. It's a value that will help me to live a good life, remember, remembered Little Bear. Little Bear pulled out the principle that Cat had given him. Cat says that each and every one of us is important, which is why I must let her sleep. <laughs> Dog laughed. Cat would say that. Dog thought for a moment. Little Bear, to live a good life, you may treat everyone fairly and kindly. Dog looked up at his master and added, like him, and Dog began to walk away. Little Bear began to cry and then stopped himself after a few sniffles. Dog, I can't remember that. So Dog wrote it down on colored paper and gave it to Little Bear, who stuffed it into the big book bag. By now, Little Bear had two very big principles in his big book bag. The bag felt heavy. Little Bear's tummy growled. Hmm, time for supper, thought Little Bear. He decided he would finish growing up later, maybe next week. So, I wonder who you're gonna meet next, Little Bear. Stay tuned for more of Little Bear and following along while he finds the last six principles. Thank you.